and you're watching the Ingram Angle, which re-airs on Telemundo as La Madre del Diablo. <laughs> Later in the program, celebrities in California are whining about some tiny wildfires, while our heroic president is under constant attack from rain. <laughs> and we'll have a tribute to Thanksgiving, the one day a year when your alt-right uncle can really shine. But first, let's talk about the rampant voter fraud that allowed Democrats to literally steal the election. Some have claimed that suburban women revolted against the Republican Party, but doesn't it feel more true that all Hispanics voted twice? <laughs> you can't dismiss that idea simply because it isn't true and sounds insane. In fact, let's add that to our list of feel facts which aren't technically facts, but they just feel true. Like, <laughs> Latinos can have a baby every three months. Santa is Jesus' dad. If the earth is so warm, then why are my feet cold? Blackface is a compliment. If you have less than five guns, you're gay. Now, here to explain how rampant this voter fraud has gotten is Pulitzer Prize eligible Judge Janine Pirro. I hate them, Laura. Who, who I'm sorry, that's my uh, vocal warm up. All right. <laughs> Judge, now, what specific examples of voter fraud have you uncovered? Well, in Georgia, many people were wearing disguises in order to vote multiple times. For example, I saw this man vote in Atlanta. <laughs> then he went into his car and changed into this woman. <laughs> and he was threatening white voters with a gun and yelling, hello. <laughs> Very disturbing. And apparently there was a huge increase in what people call stacking, where multiple children will stack on top of each other <laughs> under a trench coat and then vote as an adult. Fantastic journalism, Janine. Duh! Of course, I have to take a moment to thank my sponsors, the few remaining businesses that are willing to be associated with me. Starting with Fashion Catheters. Got poor control, but great style, Fashion Catheters. Now with genuine Swarovski crystals, ouch! And is your dog still not baptized? Then order Reverend Whitaker's Home Dog Baptism Kit. Because all dogs don't go to heaven unless they're properly baptized. And of course, undersea airlines. Need to get into the ocean fast? This airline will make sure it happens. The only planes that start on fire. And only want the healthy part of the egg? Try whites only. It's just egg whites and it's just for us. All right, my next guest has been under intense scrutiny for letting Russians use his website to spread lies about candidates. Please welcome Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Hey, Laura, it's great to be here. Smile, two, three, four. Mark, are you comfortable? Why, why are you holding your arms like that? Because when I practiced it earlier, there was a table. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, Mark, what about the story that Facebook hired the same PR firm that did a vicious smear campaign against billionaire George Soros, seen here in a Fox News photo? <laughs> did you know that they were behind that campaign? Absolutely not, Laura. Blink to moisten eyeballs. <laughs> ah. The idea that we knowingly employed a horrible company makes me laugh. <laughs> Good God. People say my laugh is chilling. <laughs> and uh, how are you addressing demands for Facebook to become more transparent? I can't be any more transparent. Have you seen my skin? <laughs> Far more transparent, I'd be clear. <laughs> but seriously, I keyed. I, I think the problem is when I do bad things, I get money. What? Ha <laughs> ha, dab, <laughs> dab. <laughs> Yikes, for that. Uh, thank you, Mark. Democrats will soon be deciding who's going to be the Speaker of the House. Here to comment is diverse Congresswoman from Ohio. Please welcome Representative Marsha Fudge. Hi, Laura, I'm sorry. Did you refer to me as diverse? Probably not. Now, Congresswoman Fudge, you're challenging Nancy Pelosi for Speaker of the House. Why do you think Nancy Pelosi has to go? Nancy Pelosi is tainted. 
For years, the GOP has used her name against us. But Republicans can never find a way to make fun of me, a middle-aged black woman named Fudge. That's funny. And do you think that Nancy Pelosi, seen here in the recent documentary about her, The Nun, do you think she'll give up the chance to be Speaker of the House? Look, I love Nancy Pelosi. And I'm not saying she's old, but her baby sister is a redwood tree. And when she started, her title, her title was Speaker of the Cave. Somebody give me a microphone. <laughs> Woo, that bitch so old. <laughs> when she was born, the doctor said, the first girl. <laughs> she just calls the Old Testament the testament. <laughs> She's so old, her birthstone is Rosetta. <laughs> oh, <I'm scared> <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think we understand, Marsha. Cool. <laughs> okay, I'm done. And the other reason I should be speaker is that I can help mobilize the black vote. Uh oh. The phrase mobilize the black vote has set off our Fox News, the country is changing alarms. <laughs> Marsha, what do you think of that? I think that you're lucky we're in a remote interview, because if I was there in person, I would knock the fudge out of you. Wow. Well. <laughs> All right, let's take a break and hear from our sponsors, like Teeny Tiny Turkey. Have you alienated everyone in your life? Have Thanksgiving for one with a teeny tiny turkey. We swear it ain't a pigeon. And cash for organs. You don't need all those organs. Plus Volkswagen, you know why. And finally, it's white chess, where all the pieces are white and everybody wins. When we come back, part two of my interview with the self-proclaimed vape god, a real person I had on my show. Y'all, what up? I'm, I'm ready to talk politics and rip some fat clouds. And you're not trolling me, right? You're a real expert on e-cig laws? Oh, for sure. I got that swag. I got that drip. Uh-huh. And, and our producers have fully vetted you? Because we bumped Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas to speak with you. Then you made the right choice. My puff puff game, dilly dilly. Wow. This is great. Now, finally, the millennial is speaking my language. Much more with that gentleman when we return. I'll have my dong out. I can't wait. That sounds good and live from New York. 